up, yo? It's Erica. I'm going to demonstrate a dread install for y'all. I washed my hair yesterday, so I knew there'd be a few casualties in the mix, but that's okay. Um, helps me keep it looking fresh, and I only have to do one at a time. Some, you know what I'm saying? Like three came out. So if three come out every time I wash, I'm still doing good because I'll tell you what. All right, so I'm going to take this hair here, and this is single-ended dread. So there's a loop, okay? Put your finger through the loop. Just get the hair through the loop. all the way up to your head as best you can and then I do I do two so basically you know if you're gonna do a braid you got three strands so the dread is the other strand so I do two and just tight tight you know and then just Continue to braid until I can't braid anymore. Now, if I'm doing a full head, I'm not going to have my nails on. But, um, you know, it's easier to do without your nails done. I like this. I like this brand, actually. Um, the brand I had before kind of was sucking. The rubber bands kept snapping these clear ones that I had. I'm like, th these kind of suck. So when I knew I wanted to do this blonde on black, I was like, let me get black rubber bands. I actually got a bunch of black beads too that I want to like put. I just haven't really sat down and did that. Okay, so to be safe, I always use two rubber bands um, just in case. If, you know, you're out and someone snaps or whatever, like, you don't want to deal with that. You don't want to deal with, like, something coming loose. <laughs> um, but, yeah, these have been in. A good couple weeks I'd say so okay there you go perfect perfect install now I'm gonna do another one but yeah that's how you do it so I like to leave a little bit of hair out so it's like got that natural type wisp but yeah um, that's what we got going on here. Hope that was helpful. Happy dreading you.